I suppose there's two elements to the music of the game. There's, there's, we, we've picked a load of licensed tracks, songs that people know, so that when you got your, you scored your goal or you got your heroic moment or, be, or you broke a world record, you'd get a piece of recognisable music. That, you know, so it would be Good Times by Chic or Celebrate by Cool and the Gang or Shut Up and Drive by Rihanna. Once we had our list of kind of tracks that we were going to go for license, we, we sort of took a list, looked at those and went, OK, well, we'll write stuff in a similar vein. And I suppose the only brief was just, just keep it up. I've been at Rare 16 years, April just gone, and that's, this is kind of full circle for me. When I first came to Rare, my first game was Killer Instinct Arcade. And my brief for that was just write contemporary, you know, the, the 1994, the sound of, you know, the music now, you know, the, it was kind of all sort of dance stuff and things like that. And then once we got to, you know, DVD, like things like the Xbox and the 360, we could go proper full-blown Philharmonic Orchestra. Um, but it depends on the game. I mean, it's now it's come back to something. Just we want something more contemporary for this game. When we mixed the Perfect Dark score, Dave did all his work up here and wrote all the tunes, all the music, and then he went to um, a studio down in London and worked with a, an engineer called Andy Gray, um, who wrote the Big Brother theme. Actually, he recommended Tim Young at Metropolis Sound to master the Perfect Dark score and then we decided to go with him again for this just to give it that extra level of polish. But he would just listen to the track and he'd have his notes there and he'd just make, make a note and tweak something and didn't once ask him what he was doing I was just I'm not you know I did want to know but I just wanted to leave him to it and let him do his job. It's normally just making it sound bigger so imagine your wave is this big and you want it to sound this big and this is the mastered version. So all frequencies are, are enhanced and sound bigger and better. So what's better is if we have on the A side, if you have Ice on the Prize original, then the dubstep. Yeah. Then on the B side, big beat bonanza, followed by electro fizz. Right. Yeah? Because that gives you roughly two 10 minute sides, which means you got to do it at 45. Yeah. yeah. It's really, yeah, it's definitely cool to get it cut to vinyl and see it being cut to vinyl. We had the track that went in like this, which we're really pleased with the way it sounded, and we had one come out that was like, wow. There we go, tighten it up. It's all done. And there we are. Seems to be a bit of split decision at the moment on the on the track. I'm, I'm expecting that a little bit. I suppose it's that's a, I suppose that's the the brilliant thing about music, isn't it? It's kind of some people love it what some people love, what other people hate, so I mean, I, I'm, I think it's a, it's a bold step to take, for, it's, not, it's not your conventional kind of title tune for a game, and I'm pleased we've done it, you know, and I'm, I am pleased with the way the tracks turned out, I'm really happy with it.